Hey, so welcome back, my construction entrepreneurs. I hope that you're digging these little short videos. Hopefully they're jam-packed for you. But on this one, this is video three. And now we're gonna cover on this one here is how to break down the titles that we did on the bid list, right? Where we inserted backyard, family room. And you see down here is where I actually inputted those names there, family room, uh, floors all, first floor restroom. Uh, so we have those inputted down here. And remember, each of these items here belongs to a different sheet. And we will bid those projects accordingly per the sheet. Now, if you look up here too as well, um, remember where we enter in the square footage? We got the square footage here of 6,000, came in as square footage. Also, that's what we selected. Uh, the um, backyard section here is next. Uh, we didn't enter in the location here, but it does have the title, okay? Also, too, uh, it has a task section here where we were able to enter in the description of that work, and we put concrete on patio, if you remember that, okay? So we have that there. We also have the uh, uh, project name, Jones House, and then we have the client name, which is Tyrone Jones, okay? Now, <clears throat> here's the activities. Now this is this is the true part about breaking down, okay? Now, what is an activity? An activity is work that needs to be done to get the job done, right? So, and this is what this is what stops a lot of us as 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 new entrepreneurs from buying all these estimated systems. They they really complicate a lot of it. Uh, by adding all these different names, right? So an activity is, let's say we have, um, uh, we're doing a door install, right? The activities of that door install is demo old door, right? Uh, um, uh, maybe demo old door all the way with the casing, uh, uh, install new door, right? Make sure door swings, right? Um, maybe even paint door, right? And then maybe lock door in place, right? With shims and, and, and everything like that. I may have said that thing in, in, in different ways, but let me say more close to the trade that I'm more familiar with. Concrete, concrete on patio. We'll do demo, right? We'll do light grading. We'll do form setting. We'll do rebar. Uh, we'll do pouring concrete. We'll do finishing concrete. Probably finishing pour probably is one activity. Uh, and then we'll do cleanup. Okay, so those are your activities for that particular task. And that's what you want to break it down to. So let's say like a, a painter, right? So the first thing you may want to do is um, a, a job setup because you got a lot of tools to bring into, in, into the house, right? And you got to be careful with the things that we may already have in the house. So it'd be job setup. It'd be clean the wall, right? Then it'd be... Um, uh, maybe mix the paint, or maybe maybe not. That's such a small item. Clean the wall. Maybe be paint the wall, right? Um, uh, and then you put in the downtime in painting the wall too, right? Because you got to wait to apply second coat. Maybe you put first coat, second coat as activities, okay? And then you do oh, oh mas masking off, right? That's one of them. Clean the wall, masking off, paint first coat, paint second coat, uh, and then maybe you do clean up right? And then you're done. So those are activities for painting. And that's what you want to do here, right? So uh, demo, old concrete, okay? And then here is where we select our labor, right? Now remember, who do we have? We have some cash workers there, which is uh, right here, some cash workers. We also had uh, some labor names that I enter in, right? Those those people are here. Let's plug them in. This is pretty simple. You just plug them in, okay? And then how many of them we need? We need one John, one Casey Walker. How many days they're gonna work? Let's say, uh, say they're gonna be at it two days, okay? And how many hours each day? Eight hours, eight hours. You get your total here at the end. That's how much it's gonna cost for us to have those two gentlemen there for two days for eight hours, okay? Here, you'll see our total sub payout, okay? Here's our labor burden is at 13%, talked about that. 
okay? And our total labor number. Here's another section here where we can enter in overtime. Let's say with John, John is gonna be driving one of our trucks, so technically we need to pay John from port to port. So it's gonna take John one hour to get to the Jones house and one hour to get back. So that's two hours overtime because he had, he's already refactoring him working eight hours. So we're gonna put two hours for him. Now, let's say Casey, we're not gonna pay him drive time. He can actually drive to the job site himself if he would like, or he can drive to the yard, catch a ride with John, and we won't be paying him for windshield time, okay? But that's, that's what that section is. And if you come down here, you got plenty of sections here to add each activity in as we talked about, right? And then another thing is, if you look here at the top, this line stays put here, okay? This line here at the top shows you your, your total bid, okay, is in the backyard, shows you your profit. Uh, we X out the uh, profit per day. I, ex I, I actually take that out. We can, uh, we can activate that for you, not a problem. Uh, and total days, I X that out too. Um, so the total bid amount right now for this is $2,060.15, and $60 okay? So that always stays no matter what. It locks in at the top of the sheet there. That way if you jump to the family room section, right, and you jump back to the backyard section, you'll actually know that you're looking at the backyard page you'll see your profit and your uh, total bid amount right there at the top of the page. Now we got other sections on this bid sheet. Now each sheet is the same, okay? <coughs> oh, excuse me. And how are they cold? It's still kicking my butt. <clears throat> all right, and this section here is where you are entering all your raw materials. So we need some uh, uh, mesh. We also need, um, Let's say uh, two, maybe, maybe we need some two by four, some rebar, some plastic, some lumber, uh, two by six by 12. So you're entering all your, um, your materials here, right? And we have a section for you enter that in. We can either fill those sections in for you with the prices, or you can give us your own list, or you can actually do it yourself, okay? It'd be an additional charge if we we're to do it for you because it takes some time to build up this list that you need according to the price structure in your region okay so i'll say hey i need one of those mesh the lumber i need 20 pieces of lumber and the bundle of stakes i need one so all that computes here towards the end you see that there and we can add notes here uh will pick up lumber from uh, Tony uh, Material Yard, okay? So that lets you know where you, where you would be getting that material from. Now, once again, I added that note because if someone else comes into this bid, they'll actually know where I got my pricing from, okay? And that you can also add that also too. Remember that, I added that 12% uh, sales tax. You can find that here. It, are, it automatically calculates here, okay? So we have that sales tax in there. That's something that we leave out that really wound up costing us in the end. Rental equipment. Let's say uh, I wanna get, um, if you notice here, you'll see month, week, day. You see it says D, W, and M, okay? So let's say here I need, um, say, I want a roller for a day there. See the day pops up. Let's say I need a, um, I want mini, uh, let's say mini, let's say mini excavator day. Okay, so let's say I want one unit. Um, I'm gonna have it, I got it at a daily rate, so I want it for two days, because that's how many days there'll be there. So I want this one for two days as well. Uh, we also have where you can enter in uh, a, a delivery, right? Delivery pickup, right? You can do a delivery or pickup of different units, right? That's more of a pickup of uh, big units. We also got uh, insurance in here, right? Because you got to pay for insurance and other fees every time you um, you rent an item, right? So uh, you, it's, it's, it's already here. So one, one, 
oops, 11, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, and that's already factored in there, okay? And that's the total there. See, it already computes there. You can put your own equipment there, uh, which you always need to charge for. You need to plug in your own equipment. I don't care if you bundle it as a package. Make sure you put your own equipment. We got trucks here as well. Uh, I like to keep my rate at 56 cents a mile, okay? So I want to uh, 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 maybe charge for one of my trucks here for two days. Okay, um, one of them said so they're gonna do uh, 100 miles a day for two days. Okay, so I plug that in too. So now I'm counting for my vehicles as well. Uh, I'm going to need material here. Okay, so uh, let's see my material is standard. And then also too, anytime you're dealing with concrete and you don't have a full yard, you know you got, you know you're gonna be charged for every yard not in the truck, okay? So and you can add whatever you want in there, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? You can add whatever you want in those items there, okay? So I got eight yards, $127 a yard. It comes up with my total here. Uh, my sales tax at 12% is, is there again, as you see. Uh, subcontractors, I left a lot of subcontractors out here. I didn't plug in any numbers here, but if we needed one in each of these, It'll total it up for us, okay? Uh, now, if you see our already bid has already moved at $10, $10,171.33, okay? Also, too, if we're out of town, maybe Jones Project is a little bit far away, and we have that as well, okay? So if you see here, my factoring rate here at for over, overhead is at 12%, okay? My profit is at 10%, and my bond total is at 3%, okay? And I'll go through on another video on how to change those and how to how to actually set them to where you want to set them. And then and it'd be the same throughout the entire bid. Okay. So you would do the same thing for family room, floors, all uh, first floor bathroom. Okay. And it's just that simple. Mainly drop down menus to make it as quick as possible for you to get through these items and get on to the next bid. Hey, my construction entrepreneurs. That's all I have. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, look for the next video that teaches the next section of this, and I'm going to let you go with that. Hey, remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. Thank you, my construction entrepreneurs. See you on the next